subject of how this is actually. This is a very important and a very uh, common problem in children that we are facing children uh, with uh, congenital heart disease. The congenital heart disease uh, has uh, many presentations in children. can be asymptomatic, can be uh, only on routine pound on, or discovered on routine examination. And can be on the other side can be presented with severe symptoms such as failure to drive, uterine chest infection, uh, uh, poor weight gain, uh, and uh, severe manifestation of chronic illness of chronic illnesses. Uh, and they can mimic other the disease. For example, a child with, with severe heart failure can be misdiagnosed as a case of asthma of a, a case of chest infection. Well, uh, the, the, the initial cause is uh, a heart uh, failure and pulmonary edema, and pulmonary edema that can uh, lead to manifestation similar to any child with uh, a heart, uh, with a uh, lung uh, disease. So the heart can affect the lung the heart can affect the lung and can cause congestion in the lung and can cause manifestation of severe respiratory distress when there is a left to right chunk. So when there is a left to right chunk, there will be congestion in the lung. Uh, so the the child will have shortness of breath and tachycardia and hypertension. And uh, when there is left or when there is right to left chunk, then cyanosis will appear. When there is right to left chunk, then the cyanosis is the major manifestation of uh, heart uh, problem. So be careful that every child for any complaint, you have to check the heart and the heart uh, sound, uh, rhythm, rate, and in all area in the tricuspid area, mitral, and pulmonary and aortic areas. So, usually, in any child, or any complaint, or any reason, we will start to auscultate. This is important, very important. You have to keep in your mind. In, in medicine, in, for adults, we usually uh, use the sequences, inspection, then palpation, then percussion, then auscultation. In children, we mainly depend on on uh, inspection and auscultation because of the small size of the chest. Uh, so the percussion and palpation uh, uh, cannot give you a clue for the uh, 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 side or etiology of the problem. So in general, in general, we. Uh, Depend on inspection if they had if he had any sign of distress, severe distress, or severe malnutrition, sign of severe malnutrition or any cyanosis, or pala or um, congestion, uh, and uh, we look after it for uh, auscultation. So in general, keep in your mind it's very important to auscultate any any child present with a complaint or any complaint how to auscultate their heart and to see the rhythm and weight and sound and, and character of heart sound because you may discover an accidental uh, or asymptomatic uh, heart problem or you may catch the initial uh, etiology or the initial problem for the child. So, uh, so before giving nebulizer, uh, before giving any bronchodilator for any child with respiratory symptoms, you have to make sure that you are uh, check their heart. So keep in your mind this. We will talk about the types of heart, uh, congenital heart disease. Usually, usually we divide it as cyanotic and acyanotic. Cyanotic when they, usually when there is a left to right chunk and cyanotic when there is a right to left chunk, how we uh, the common anatomical uh, classification and uh, presentation for each one. And, uh, we will talk about the commonest 
and we will give short notes about the other disease and in uh, heart, in congenital heart disease was under differential diagnosis and heart management. Um, it's around 8 to 10 percent in the 1,000. There is a, a risk of having a, a structural or a functional heart disease. Maybe discovered at uh, birth or a few weeks of, uh, of life, but other may be discovered later, maybe years, maybe months, according to the site and severity of the problem. But first, we will talk about atrial septal defect, and the first one of the cyanotic congestion heart disease. At, uh, the, uh, as uh, the definition is, it's the defect between two atrial. Between two and three. The defect between two and this classification depends on the site of the uh, defect. Whereas the site is in the middle, this is in the middle close, it's second now. It is in the lower part called the primer. The lower part have more risk, we call it uh, ASD primer, which is, which is more critical because associated with valvular defect, with left, uh, left defect, uh, defect. So the sequences of ASD depend, depend uh, on the sites or uh, associated uh, anomalies, uh, and also sinus venosas uh, uh, according uh, to the site of, uh, site of the defect. So uh, the important thing in ASD that the when the defect present the, the turbulence the turbulence of blood flow usually there will be left to right shot there will be left to right shot but there is a minimum turbulence turbulence of blood can be a risk factor of uh, infective endocarditis so in, in there is a low evidence of turbulence in ASD except when there is large uh, defect or when uh, there is a primal defect associated with valvular defect then it will be um, more risky for uh, uh, turbulence and the turbulence can be a risk factor for infective endocarditis. Okay so it is a primal it's low inside low inside risk of, of uh, left mitral valve so associated with valvular defect and then the risk of um, more severe problem and mostly in the primer mostly need uh, surgery later on while in the center of course which is called secondum and can be asymptomatic can be symptomatic according to the uh, site or, or and according to the size so uh, secondum is the most common type of um, OSTM secondum is the most common type of ASD. Other type is uh, primal, primal is low, in, low inside and can be associated with more uh, valvular defect and uh, sequences will be more severe and can be regarded as a part of uh, uh, epicanal defect. Other sinus venosus and coronary sinuses. It's, it is high in that area. The sinus venosus it is the highest. It is the highest uh, in the atrial defect in the sinus area and the sinus area. Coronary sinus also between coronary sinus which is according to the uh, location or between coronary sinus and left uh, atrial. So mainly we divide it into primum and secondum at that type also you have to keep it in. So this is a eco study. So the and the, there is a defect between left atrium and right atrium. According to this is a second uh, type, and uh, then the uh, defect was closed uh, by uh, capitalization. So it is left to right uh, shunt and can be asymptomatic. So defect depends on the there is a left to right shunt depend on the size and amount of pulmonary vascular uh, uh, resistance. So an isolated uh, small ASD is only and uh, maybe asymptomatic and found on routine examination. This is common, it is common. 
is coming to found a child present for routine checking, uh, present with uh, some with the signs of uh, ASD. When when we can diagnose it, when we uh, uh, we hear and auscultate the uh, pulmonary area, pulmonary area, there is a fixed split widely fixed uh, splitting the second heart sound, and there, is, there will be a, a systolic. A systolic ejection murmur at the pulmonary area at the uh, upper left sternum border. So, uh, child, maybe five months, maybe six months, maybe maybe two months, uh, when we hear an um, ejection systolic murmur in the uh, pulmonary area or left upper sternum border, keep in your mind that it may be uh, ASD. Okay, but uh, the presentation will differ when the child had a large defect. If, he, if the child had large defect, then uh, they will present with sign of heart, uh, congestive heart failure and a hyperactive cardio. Okay, uh, so the defect, uh, if this large presentation may be about the age of five to six months, and it will be a, a manifestation of heart failure. Uh, but uh, keep in your mind uh, uh, the size, uh, it will be changed according to the uh, size of the heart. So maybe uh, at the age of two months, maybe it is asymptomatic and found on working examination. Uh, but with the growth of the heart, that's uh, the chance of uh, uh, increasing in size or decreasing in size can happen together. So maybe the initial he had no sign of heart failure. Uh, he had no sign of heart at the time of diagnosis, but keep in mind you had to follow him well. You had to follow him well because maybe within two to three months he will have a sign of heart failure. So the child will be the kidney, will have uh, excessive sweating, will have full, full gain, uh, weight gain, and the uh, sign of uh, the uh, respiratory distress and uh, tachycardia. So this is the site of diagnosis, mainly we depend on general examination and chest x-ray, ECG and cardiology is the diagnostic way. Uh, and x-ray may be normal, but if it is large, if it is large, then it will be a manifestation of increase uh, heart uh, size, uh, pulmonary arteries and increase lung vascularity or pleuritic uh, uh, lung. Uh, ECG maybe it's in ASD and maybe there will be normal or right axis deviation or in the large type maybe bivertebral uh, hypertrophy also right under the branch block and ASD can happen diagnostic by echo what's what's the expected what's the expected fate for a child uh, yeah it can happen spontaneous closure can happen and especially when uh, there is a small defect, there is a small defect when the site is less than uh, when the size is less than eight uh, millimeter. Um, but it is uh, rarely to close after the age of two years. So uh, depend on size, depend on site. Uh, of the, if it is prime uh, so the risk of uh, complication will be high. Then the fate uh, maybe it is a medical then end with when he is fit for surgery then he will end with surgery. Okay, and surgery depends on the uh, availabilities and uh, the site and size of the defect maybe with. Uh, capitalization or uh, if it's not possible large defect associated with other anomalies so uh, then uh, open heart would be the method of uh, closure so in general uh, we, uh, we depend on the size and clinical presentation and follow up of your patient yes if it's a small it's close spontaneously by the age of, of one year or uh, two, but it is a rare after the age of uh, uh, two years. 
So maybe even an asymptomatic child, even an asymptomatic child, the ideal age uh, of closure of uh, ASD is between two to four years. So one time I had a five years uh, female child present for protein checking. Right? For protein checking only for them, they said that he had only fever and sign of tonsillitis. But when, when we do an examination, we found there is an injection. And it's a stroic uh, murmur, which is a sort of murmur at the pulmonary area. It was very clear. So we advised for uh, eco study, and then uh, they, uh, in eco, they found um, uh, an ASD. So uh, we directly uh, consult a cardiologist, and they do cut for the uh, child, and the, the operation was uh, success successful. So, even in asymptomatic child with ASD, we had to close it, close it at, uh, uh, around uh, two to four years. But uh, according, as we mentioned, according to the manifestation, to the other anomalies or any uh, risk of uh, uh, developing pulmonary hypertension, then it will be uh, an indication for the early closure, maybe in infancy. Okay. But uh, uh, on the other side, maybe it is still undiagnosed, maybe the age till the age of adulthood, till the age of adulthood, maybe a time of pregnancy or any stress, routine echo, they found that they had uh, ASD. So a time of detection and elective pressure whenever there was. Risk of complication is for me risk of heart failure, especially associated with large effect or other anomalies. Because of the low flow, as we mentioned, uh, as we mentioned in general, we are afraid from uh, infective endocarditis in any child with, uh, who had uh, a congenital heart disease. So we had to be well, very uh, careful in following a child with fever, with heart problem, fever with heart problem. So it may be uh, this uh, fever or infection may lead to uh, uh, risk of infective endocarditis. So, so usually when a child, a child had uh, a catheterization, urinary catheterization, or endoscopy, or any surgical minor or <coughs> large surgery, so there will be a need, or maybe even dental dental procedure. And we need to uh, give prophylactic antibiotic for infective endocarditis. In ASD, there will be a in, in usual ASD, which is most common in secondary. The flow will be low, so the risk of turbulence will be low. Turbulence in the blood flow, so no need for prophylaxis or for infective endocarditis. The other most common congenital heart disease, the most common congenital heart disease in children is a ventricular cell uh, defect. And the same classification, it mainly depends on the site and the size of the defect. Uh, so it is, uh, uh, there is a perimembranous, it is high in type. Perimembranous, it is high in type. So it is a membranous VSD. It is located in the membranous part of the ventricular septal defect. It is the most common type. It is the most common type in the heart problem. Uh, VSD and the most common type among VSD is the perimembranous or membranous uh, type. Okay, uh, around 80% are treated in the upper portion of the septum, pulmonary, below pulmonary, valve, and muscular. Uh, VSD, which is located in the muscular part of the ventricular septum. So maybe in, in this may be multiple defects, defect and a Swiss uh, cheese defect. And uh, the other type is the atrioventricular type. Atrioventricular type, which is located near to the tricuspid valve and called, called inlet VSD. Atrioventricular type can be regarded uh, uh, part of uh, AV canal defect. I will talk later about the AV canal defect. So, sometimes uh, uh, ASD primer and 
and let VSD can, can occur together. So ASD with VSD can uh, happen together. And so we call it as AB canal. At the moment, it is more severe time. It is more severe time. When the child has ASD and VSD, usually call it as AB canal, more severe type. And the sequences indication for more surgery, it will be more uh, more uh, severe and a little bit uh, complication. So the atrial reticular, atrial reticular canal uh, or inlet VSD it will be um, a more severe uh, defect and uh, the sequence of it will be high and more dangerous. Uh, the same thing about the, uh, the physiological changes, it depends on the uh, shunt. It is left to right shunt and uh, depend on the size of the shunt and the amount of the muscular resistance. So, so from uh, with time, from left to right shunt, there will be a risk of having a high pulmonary vascular resistance. A high pulmonary vascular resistance, the, we call it as a pulmonary hypertension. So uh, if the defect is large and the shunt is high, with time there will be a risk of having high pulmonary vascular resistance, which will, that will end with pulmonary vascular, pulmonary hypertension, and end with irreversible pulmonary changes, vascular changes, we call it as Eisenhower. So at the end of uncorrected large defect, can we have at the end of uncorrected large defect, we can have uh, increase in pulmonary vascular resistance, we call it as uh, Eisenhower. Then, so will be uh, the shunt will be reversed from left to right to, to right to left shunt. Uh, manifestation may be in small uh, VSD, may be asymptomatic, or, uh, just like uh, ASD, uh, but when the large uh, defect will be uh, uh, more large uh, defect than the manifestation of start and uh, de detected and a complication of heart failure, a growth failure, a recurrent infection, lethal clamp, even attack of cyanosis, even attack of cyanosis. Uh, so, uh, in, in VSD in general, it is uh, even in child with uh, in, in routine examination, even the first few weeks, it may be asymptomatic just found on, on examination. In past systolic mammal, past systolic mammal, in, uh, in the third and fourth intercostal space and the lower left sternum, uh, border on the tricuspid area. So, uh, the characteristic uh, feature of VSD is pan-systolic, well, it's happening in systolic and diastolic time, in systolic and diastolic uh, time. Uh, so, it is pan-systolic memory, pan-systolic uh, memory, and uh, if it is large, uh, then, then uh, the uh, loud P2, okay? Uh, so the manifestation of small VSD only you will, you will find a, a pancystolic murmur at the tricuspid area in the lower left sternal border. Of course, if it is large or moderate VSD, then it will be a, a child who had manifestation of heart failure, tachypnea, intercostal recession, subcostal recession, acting in the and with failure to thrive. So, diagnosis needs physical examination, ACG, chest x ray, and ECO is diagnostic. The same thing for uh, ASD, chest x ray may be normal and small, or maybe it's cardiomegaly and uh, increased vascularity, uh, chest x ray, ECG. Same maybe left ventricular hypertrophy or right ventricular hypertrophy. Diagnostic by ECO. Huge value. When you see the uh, maximum diameter of the uh, heart is more than 50% of the 
uh, the diameter of, of the chest. So that means uh, the child had uh, calcium or the size of the heart is larger than the normal. What's the fate? What's your expected prognosis? And uh, there, there will be a chance of spontaneous closure or small PSD. So in general, for any heart disease, we had to make sure that we had to educate the parents about the nature of expected pain for the uh, disease. So uh, when he had an uh, arterial or particular defect, we had to mention, we had to follow our patient. There is no 100% uh, ensures that the child will have closures or 100% uh, child uh, will need a surgical closure. So we, we usually put them on the plan, we send them for the cardiologist uh, who, who prescribe a uh, plan for them uh, to retain and for follow up uh, according to the severity of the problem or expected nature of prognosis. So it may maybe within three to four months they had to repeat the echo or if it is more maybe within six to eight months they had to repeat the echo study or if he had a severe deterioration in symptoms then they had to repeat the echo study to uh, to detect any new development of uh, uh, complication. Uh, so all spontaneous closure expected for small VSD but it is uncommon for large uh, uh, VSD it is around 40% of moderate or too small defect can be closed by, by the age of three uh, to more, uh, four years. So uh, the child, when he had a PSD and still at the age of uh, four years, at the age of four years, uh, so uh, unlikely to be closed later on. Unlikely to be closed, so we need to close it. We need to a closet. So uh, maybe if it, uh, the child had no symptoms of heart failure uh, or uh, pulmonary hypertension, then we can uh, put him on follow up. But in general, around the age of uh, three to five years, uh, if it is not closed, we have to prepare for uh, elective, even for elective closure. Uh, an indication for closure if it is large, if it is large, and uh, the medication not control the symptoms of heart failure and failure to thrive. Uh, if, uh, in VSD, we usually treat him with diuretics and AC inhibitor. We will talk later about this, but in general, we give him uh, 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 a and spinal electron as a diuretic and AC inhibitor in a pill, a laptop pill for manifestation to prevent development of severe uh, dilatation, heart cardiac uh, dilatation or hypertrophy. Uh, so uh, when there, there, uh, there is a failure to respond to uh, medical treatment, then we had to prepare him for surgery at the age of maybe the age of six to uh, 12 months and the child uh, had uh, risk of uh, pulmonary hypertension or develop pulmonary hypertension then it will be an emergency and we need to close it as early as possible. So it may be uh, six months and had a large VSD with pulmonary hypertension in six to 12 months then it will be an indication for uh, preparing for this closure by the age of Two years, and there, uh, there is a risk of the QP and the QS. When the pulmonary pressure more than the systemic pressure at the ratio of two to one, when the pulmonary pressure more than the systemic uh, pressure, uh, so also we have to prepare for surgery, subpulmonic, subpulmonic or inlet, inlet, an inlet type. An inlet uh, type uh, of any uh, size, uh, there will be a risk uh, atrial ventricular insufficiency or valvular insufficiency. So, uh, when, they, when we, we pace uh, inlet PSD, so the inlet PSD or subpulmonic VSD, uh, the, the need for surgery will be high because the 
there will be other anomalies. Uh, so, in uh, uh, in general, in general, even if it's small, there's the uh, uh, start with uh, increasing pulmonary artery pressure. Uh, if it is uh, about 1.5 to 1 in systemic to systemic circulation, so we had to prepare it uh, at the age of two to four year for elective uh, surgery. Okay. Method of closure either by catheter or by uh, open heart surgery according to size and complication of other anomalies. A uh, major complication of uh, heart failure is uh, of basis uh, heart failure and risk of uh, infective heart and risk of uh, developing uh, increase in pulmonary vascular resistance uh, that end with ever visible changes of pulmonary hypertension changes we call it in pulmonary, uh, in pulmonary uh, pressure that the pressure we call it isoning. So, transformation of any annotated left uh, to right shunt. Any annotated left to right shunt, maybe it is uh, uh, primer, ASD primer, or VSD, annotated left and, and uh, there was left to right shunt uh, to transformation to bidirectional or right to left shunt. So, a complication. We expect that uh, the Isenminger can happen around the age of five years, according to the size or, or degree of uh, of pulmonary hypertension. Maybe develop earlier, maybe at the age of one year pulmonary hypertension. So, if a child develops pulmonary hypertension, we have to urgently treat him. Otherwise, if he develops Isenminger, severe irreversible changes in pulmonary vascular resistance then there will be a need for cardiopulmonary transplantation. Cardiopulmonary transplantation is so a very, very poor prognosis. Very poor prognosis. So uh, our aim is to prevent the development of irreversible pulmonary changes, vascular changes, and uh, development of Isenninger syndrome. So develop from left to right shunt to right to left shunt to be cyanotic heart presentation, cyanotic uh, heart uh, presentation. So the, uh, there is a medial hypertrophy of pulmonary muscle and increase in pulmonary vascular resistance. Irreversible medial and uh, muscular hypertrophy of pulmonary muscle. Of pulmonary muscle. So risk of a heart failure, failure to thrive, risk of malnutrition to be high in BSD, risk of infective endocarditis, and risk of uh, IZ manga. Uh, risk of uh, pulmonary hypertension and IZ manga, uh, more uh, poor prognosis in patient with Down. When, uh, when you face a child with Down syndrome, uh, uh, trisomy 21, trisomy 21, who have a 40% risk of having congenital heart disease. And children with Down syndrome, every child, any unit of an infant with Down syndrome, you had to send for eco study. You had to send for eco study because there is a risk of 40% having a congenital, uh, concomitant congenital heart disease, risk of trisomy development of pulmonary hypertension, uh, pulmonary hypertension in, in children with trisomy 21 is high, it may be developed within first year, at the end of the first year of life. The expected age for uh, Isenminger may be at the age of five to six years, but in children with Down syndrome may be happen earlier and have poor prognosis may be happen at the age of, uh, at the end of one year of age one year of age, so be careful in, in dealing uh, with child with uh, Down syndrome with underlying heart defect. So uh, in the surgery it will be needed much, much earlier. The every canal, it is, it is the combination of uh, uh, ASD and VSD, every canal defect. 
So the presentation will be more severe and will be earlier than uh, isolated ASD. And of course, uh, just similar to a large, uh, just similar to a large uh, VSD or LED uh, uh, VSD. So it will be, but it usually it will had uh, more uh, complication and the needs for surgery will definitely uh, need open heart surgery and follow up, need more, more follow up and uh, risk of effective heart attacks will be more high, even prognosis, the mortality rate in every canal defect will be more high and needs for early surgery also. Uh, because the uh, risk of coronary hypertension show. So it is AV defect, AV canal defect, AV canal defect. In children with Down syndrome, there will be a risk of AV canal defect. In Down syndrome, AV canal defect and either we call it cushionoid. Cushionoid because the cushion in the, in the resting uh, over it, the valve is usually lost, so she associated with valvular defect and the needs for the surgery it will be more earlier. <coughs> so, uh, for a defect between both atria and ventricle with all valvular uh, defect in tricuspid and mitral rings. Okay, sometimes we call it as partial defect. Uh, partial and uh, every defect uh, may be uh, uh, presented as ASD primer. ASD primer. Same uh, as we mentioned, it may be uh, indistinguishable from ASD primer. If it is partial defect or if it is complete, then it will be severe failure to thrive and easy uh, yeah, to and cyanosis with evidence of vascular disease. Of course, it will be more heavy hyperactive pre-program, um, so manifestation will be both manifestation of ASD and uh, BSD. So there will be a uh, injection memory in the pulmonary area and systolic, pan-systolic memory after the, the tricuspid and area radiated to the apex and exit. Okay, it more definitely it needs surgery. More definitely needs uh, surgery and perform perform at early life. Okay, so let me add how to get closure as soon as possible. Maybe the period of the age of three to six months. At age of three to six months, if it's partial, it's two to three. Okay. Keep in mind, it's just to present with uh, uh, heart failure and the child to present with uh, sharpness of web, difficulty in feeding, excessive sweating, excessive sweating, and signs of uh, uh, heart failure. Usually, you, you will find a hepatomegaly, a failure to thrive, hepatomegaly, or a sign of wasting velocity for the intercostal and subcostal recession look for the kidney and difficulty in taking care of it. Uh, so uh, be careful when you teach child who be money it may be a, a, a heart problem. Okay, so keep in mind and the presentation of uh, uh, common uh, how to call them, VSD, large VSD, ASD, PTA, PTA patent is close. Usually it is close within the you know, communication between arch of health and commonality. Usually it close at the time of birth within 24 hours. Maybe delayed through the 48 hours or maybe delayed for the 
four to five days and premature baby. But it is definitely caused by the uh, end of the first week of life in a premature baby. baby. In term baby, usually caused by the 24 hour of life. If it, if it is in term baby, it is not caused by 24 hour of life, it's or 48 hour of life, it's unlikely to be caused uh, later. So the aorta will have a defect and then he had to push uh, the uh, artery to uh, bl uh, blood to the pulmonary artery and then uh, there will be excessive stress on the heart and the same at the same time the pulmonary artery had a, a, a vascular uh, increase in vascular resistance because of the volume overload uh, from the aorta he had uh, received to receive blood from the aorta so it will be a stress on the uh, heart from both sides because the aorta different people have to push more hard at the same time from the artery had more resistance so the left ventricle had to push more hard to the pulmonary artery so all the PD patent deficit arthritis will represent as a sign of uh, a congestive uh, heart failure Okay, so uh, depend on, uh, it depends on the size and the size of the uh, defect. Depend on the size of the uh, defect. If it is a small, maybe it's asymptomatic on working examination, uh, uh, but if it is uh, large, then uh, if it is large, then my station of the uh, heart failure will be attractions and uh, can lead to increase in vascular resistance. So asymptomatic of heart failure, if it is large, can also have heart failure, failure to fly. There will be abounding parts, white parts, a large heart, uh, and classical continuous machinery systolic memory. So classical. Uh, classical machinery, machinary part, historic mammal, this is during systole and during uh, diastole. And part, systole, normal, uh, it is during systole, and uh, machinery mammal, it is happening during systole and diastole. So, presentation, uh, slouch, severe heart failure. Moderate also according to uh, size of the heart. And if it is small, it will be uh, a systolic mammal, no pulmonary vascular uh, increase in blood, in pulmonary, in blood pressure. And then, uh, maybe in small ways, the, in small detail, maybe continuous or maybe uh, systolic. This is beyond the first week of that is unlikely to be closed continuously according to the presentation and the variable presentation of chest x ray and even ECG changes. In, in general, if it is uh, treated by catheter closure and if it is large, it may need surgery or not uh, surgery. And if in a premature baby, Treatment may be uh, a small um, PDA, may be caused by uh, age of one week, and we can use uh, nonsteroid anti inflammatory drugs uh, such as endomethacin and ibuprofen. Given for the child in the first uh, 48 hours uh, to close the uh, PDA, risk of yes, infective endocarditis and risk of heart failure. Till now, any, any question? Okay. So now. And the commonest is uh, heart problem is PSD and ASD. And we will talk shortly about PSA, the PS pulmonary stenosis, aortic stenosis. Uh, this is the uh, commonest uh, 
semantic part. And semantic. Then I will talk about semantic. Semantic will talk about TGA and topology of art. TGA and topology of art. So the commonest semantic heart disease is TGA transposition of beta artery and topology of art. So uh, we will talk uh, in uh, short concepts about uh, primary stenosis. So it is narrowing, uh, obstruct the blood flow, flow from the right vertebrates and PS, pulmonary stimulus. Uh, this is PS, maybe it's mild, maybe stimulus is mild, maybe stimulus is moderate or severe. Um, so in, in mild, Moderate PS so manifestation will uh, appear later in life, except in critical PS and uh, severe type uh, happen in early in neonatal period. Happen in early neonatal period. In critical uh, type happen during the neonatal period. Neonatal period maybe within two to three days of time. Uh, develop uh, severe cyanosis uh, due to the uh, development of severe or critical cyanosis. So the child will be cyanosed. Cyanosed child will be cyanosed. Uh, this is happened in the immunity period when we face a critical cyanosis, and then there will be a need for uh, uh, there will be a need for catheterization, urgent catheterization to open the stenosis of the natural for digestion of the pulmonary body. So, uh, stenosis creates resistance to flow from the right ventricle. Uh, so there will be a right ventricular hypertrophy. There will be a, a right ventricular hypertrophy. So it may be mild or unlike moderate severe risk of infective endocarditis, risk of secondary subalveolar muscular and fibrous habit. That's me. When the child that wants to have a pulmonary stimulus, for example, it is mild. Mild pulmonary stenosis. You have to keep in mind this stenosis. It will be. It might be more severe in the future because of risk of secondary subalveolar, muscular, and fibrous hypertrophy. So with time, even now, if, if you initially found to have a patient with mild PS. You have to educate the parents and tell them that yes, till now, smart PS, smart PS, but yes, pulmonary stenosis and even aortic stenosis, and the seven and AS also. So you have to keep them, you have to educate, you have to instruct the parents that the child need to be followed. By serial echocardiography, or developed inside of severe shortness of breath or uh, cyanosis, uh, because uh, uh, the risk of uh, developing uh, more severe stenosis is going to be transformed uh, from mild PS, then will later on develop moderate pulmonary stenosis or even severe pulmonary stenosis because of secondary risk or secondary subalveolar muscular hypertrophy. So in mild type it may be asymptomatic ejection normal and left first and upward. It is just uh, similar to uh, ASD, but there in ASD is fixed splitting the second half so fixed splitting the second half so inspiration and expiration. 
fixed between second part so uh, in in uh, ps only uh, hard ejection amount of the uh, pulmonary area and uh, as we mentioned uh, this hs x-ray may be normal all in prominent in pulmonary arteries in prominent pulmonary arteries 90% BCG may be normal or right mother branch block or right exit deviation, just similar to ASD. And be careful, we require even in Malta, require regular follow up or sign of progression of stimulus. Okay, so risk of progression even in Malta to develop mild to moderate to severe pulmonary stenosis. Risk of symptoms increased by the age of the child and the severity of the stenosis. Cardiomegaly. Cardiomegaly. Um, moderate uh, to severe PS. Okay. So, uh, according to the side, severity of stenosis. In general, we need. Uh, Balloon vulvoplasty or in severe type surgical palpatory. Okay. And sometimes in critical in neonatal period, we, we are, when we are not able to do cath or the critical PS, post ground infusion can be provided uh, some uh, patency for the. Uh, and arteriosus until we prepare for urgent uh, catheterization for dilatation for pulmonary valve dilatation. Okay, the PS in common in Nuna. Just the same. Aortic stenosis, just the same. It is, it is the stenosis of the aortic. Valve, aortic valve stenosis, just the same. Uh, maybe it's according to the side, according to the anatomy. So there will be obstruction of blood flow from obstruction of blood flow from the left ventricle, so leading to left ventricular hypertrophy or aortic insufficiency. Okay. Presentation according to the severity of AS, it's mild, moderate, and severe. That is mild or moderate and severe. And if the same uh, can have an immunity period uh, called uh, as critical uh, erotic stenosis. Critical erotic uh, stenosis is present with severe symptoms of circulatory uh, failure and heart failure. Uh, yes, it is uh, there will be a risk of aortic stenosis. Uh, just like uh, pulmonary stenosis, it is a progressive disease. Be careful, aortic stenosis and pulmonary stenosis is a progressive disease that requires serial uh, evaluation. Uh, it may be asymptomatic and uh, except for severe type of aortic stenosis early, uh, but uh, commonly child present with uh, easy fatigability and the risk of a uh, syncopal attack. So easy fatigability is a risk of syncopal uh, attack. So any child or any young woman or man with unexplained syncopal attack, you have to send him for eco study because a risk can be and this um, a presentation of uh, aortic uh, problem, aortic stenosis. So also can any uh, angina uh, so with uh, syncopal attack can present in 10% or severe AS. Injection systolic mama at the and this is aortic area at the aortic area. And so, we have a guest. We have a of aorta. And now, we have a
إذا نفس السؤال نخلينا نستوح عشر دقائق ونكمل وراها ممكن نكمل الهارت فيلر مباشرة هي مرتبطة بيها وبعدين نقرر إنه ممكن ناخد الهارت غلط فيلر ونفكر في الهارت أكو سؤال شباب؟ هذه وين هذه؟ رايت أبو استعمال بوضع هي عادة احنا الأيوتيك آه هي يصير بها راديشن يعني انت الهارت سايز سمول بالشارت بصورة هذه لكن تبحث انت عن ماكسيموم انتنسيتي وتبحث عن ما تبحث عن الراديشن يعني هسا هي الراديشن آه آه يعني ما تم هنا يعني كان بي ديفيكولت لكن بصورة عامة بصورة عامة احنا حتى لا ندوخكم احنا نحاول نخلي ال ASD <hesitation> وال PS هي بالرايت بالرايت اوف استعمال بوضع وطبعا حتى ال AOTIC STENOSIS همين يجي يعني هنا كلش قريبات بعد الثاني يجن بال left ويجن بال right استعمال بوضع أكبر استعمال هي مهم أنه أكبر استعمال برضه هذا اللي يميز ال PS ويميز ال AS ويميز ال AB ال VSD ال VSD وال Mitra Gigerge VSD وال Mitra Gigerge عادة تكون ال Lower Slave استعمال و لو ليفت ستاند بودر يعني تكون مو كمان ويل بي اس دي في حين اللي ما تلقى جير راح تسمع مور انتنسيتي مور انتنسيتي راح اشوفها بالمايترا او بالافكس هيري فهو قريبات الايوتيك ولا المايترا اريا هي اه سيم اريا sometimes it is really difficult to differentiate which one has the maximum Intensity. Aortic stenosis is aortic stenosis. It's aortic stenosis after the aortic arch. Stenosis after the aortic arch. Stenosis after the aortic arch. طبعا الالكتريك سنس هو السيم ثينج كان بي مايل كان بي كروتيشن في ايوتا كروتيشن في ايوتا ام كان بي مايل كروتيشن موديريت كان بي سيفير كروتيشن طبعا اذا سيفير هذا لايف ثريتنج لايف ثريتنج كروتيشن في ايوتا يعني ايرجنت سيرج لكن الكروتيشن في ايوتا اف ات از مايل بريزنت ويز هارت ريل Mild to moderate cooperation isn't what sign of heart failure or left heart shunt. Congestion, left ventricular atrophy, and this treatment of choice is doing balloon catheterization. And if we need, if it is severe and not open by cath, it might need an open. Now we got the aortic arch. Location and proper development of the involved area. Also the construction of the portion when the PDA is closed can be alone or can be a sequence for closure of. Closure of PDA. Okay, so it's pre-ductal and post-ductal according to the site of obstruction.
Plantation Command M Turner Center. So according to the severity and the degree of obstruction and the cause uh, of congestive heart failure in the unit, magma, okay, and left inter inter scapular area, and elevation to the back, uh, can present rotation failure with uh, acute circulatory collapse and shock. So in, in any unit with uh, acute collapse, acute poor perfusion, and, and shock, be careful uh, from rotation of aorta because this happen, might happen due to closure of uh, PDA, PDA, closure of PDA. And the whole uh, mark uh, of the side for discrimination this uh, for quotation uh, of aorta is uh, differences in arterial pulses and the blood pressure between upper and lower limb so uh, you are to palpate the uh, arterial pulses femoral artery uh, pulses and compare it with the uh, upper uh, arteries such as uh, carotid and radial uh, arteries. So, when you suspect a child had uh, rotation of aorta, the differences in arterial pulses between upper limbs and lower limbs can help you to establish or to send or to. Uh, Put in your mind that there may be a quotation of uh, aortic. Uh, quotation of aortic can be a presentation uh, for any uh, young people with uh, hypertension. So it may be asymptomatic, and then the patient had a high blood pressure, so it may be an underlying uh, undiagnosed quotation of aorta. <coughs> according to the severity, according to the size uh, and shown, so it may be cardiomegaly, increased lung vascularity. Uh, with, uh, with time, with a chronic, uh, uh, with long period, so then there will be a, a collateral circulation, there will be a collateral arteries uh, occur around the rib that notch or irritate the ribs, notch or irritate the uh, ribs. So on X-ray there will be, uh, uh, be a uh, notching, rib notching. It is a sign of old uh, or prolonged uh, uh, or a quotation of aorta that leads to the notching from collateral uh, arteries or collateral uh, circulation. So, in general, according to the severity, it may be mild or moderate and severe, and you need definitely need surgery alone, stands according to the uh, size of the severity of the problem. So, we'll talk about uh, cyanotic. A cyanotic etiology of fallow transposition of great arteries, sanctus arteriosus, and total anomalous and plaspid atresia. The tetralogy of fallow and transposition of great artery. This is uh, we will uh, mainly talk about them. Uh, the transposition of great artery uh, presented in early neonatal period. Transposition of great arteries uh, early in life, early in neonatal life, while tetralogy of fallout and uh, not present in, in the first few days of life. This is important. Uh, so, when you face a neonate few two days with cyanosis, um, keep away tetralogy of fallout from different shapes. So, maybe TGA, maybe Chancas Antiosis, maybe Chancas Anomalous, maybe Chancas with Atresia. So it may be the other type of cyanotic congestive heart uh, While uh, when you are facing a child uh, around the age of two months, 
we had a dusky color or um, severe plethoric or cyanosis um, on crying at the age of two months or three months then uh, you have you can't uh, put in your mind it might be a stage of fault so um, the time of appearance of symptoms is important as we mentioned before VSD usual VSD not present in the first few days of life. maybe if it is very present in the first few days a few days of life maybe a AV cannot if it is more severe usual presentation of VSD is around the uh, two to three months except of course during routine asymptomatic or routine examination when the child is asymptomatic so, cyanotic heart disease, when presented in at birth in the first few days of life, you have to think the most common type is the most common cause of etiology is TGA. While when presented at the age of two to three months, you have to keep them. But at, with dusky color or cyanosis during time, you have to keep in mind a etiology of fault. Etiology of fault here, tetralogy, here, Hubaiet fault, here, BSD. Right integral hypertrophy over right of aorta and pulmonary uh, atrophy or aplasia of pulmonary artery and uh, stenosis. And the pulmonary component is, is the most important part of uh, TOF. And the prognosis of TOF and severity and steps of surgery depend on the pulmonary component. Uh, if the pulmonary artery is very narrow or uh, blazier, uh, so the prognosis will be more uh, severe and surgery will be more complicated. While if there is only a pulmonary stenosis, only thickening of the pulmonary valve or any bit of the pulmonary valve, then uh, and the remaining part of the pulmonary artery is put in caliper or diameter, uh, then the prognosis will be better and surgery will be uh, better. Okay, so <coughs> we mainly depend on pulmonary artery, valve, and the pressure and size for prognosis. So it is my aligned VSD, pulmonary stenosis, overriding, and right ventricular hypertrophy. So, uh, there is a hypoplasia of right ventricular artery flow. It's, it, is, it is the same we talk about the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery, maybe stenosis, maybe hypoplasia of the pulmonary nervous and the trunk. So, uh, this is the main uh, prognostic component. <coughs> so, it's, it's, it's maybe a uh, mild uh, tutorial of follow -up. It's maybe present with female. Mild cyanosis, or it is maybe a um, pink or plethoric tit or uh, spill. Uh, then, uh, and the cyanosis will be um, mild, or it may be a severe type that uh, just occur uh, not only during crying or upsetting or sex with the child. Uh, so, typical presentation is have uh, the current cyanotic spill. And when the child is crying, upsetting, fever, chest infection, it will be the cyanosis will be more severe uh, because it will be the uh, right direction. But in, when the child at rest, the cyanosis will be less because the shunt from right to left will be less. So it depends on the degree of right ventricular blood obstruction and blood, uh, blood flow uh, from uh, to the pulmonary uh, arteries. According to the blood flow, so the right to left shunt if blood, uh, if the, the pulmonary uh, artery flow is uh, low or there is severe obstruction, uh, so the risk of right to left shunt through the VSD uh, will be more and uh, the cyanosis will be more severe and lead to metabolic acidosis and severe hypoxia. 
semantic spin, semantic spin, the acute attack of um, at arterial oxygen desaturation, uh, secondary to worsening and uh, or increasing RBOT. That result in uh, right to left shot at once the base. And the semantic spin ensure at the age of uh, early infancy. So they are they are more susceptible for cyanotic spill at the age of early infancy, maybe the first few months of, of age, and characterized by apnea, uh, hyperapnea, rapid and deep breathing, uh, early trouble teeth, prolonged crying, deep cyanosis. And uh, at that time, even the heart may not be absent, uh, his job will be unfelt, uh, will become extremely irritable and may lead to a loss of consciousness. Cyanotic spill, risk of um, uh, severe hypoxia. If not corrected, of course, so if definitely need surgery uh, to develop. Exertional dyspnea and uh, increase uh, the pulmonary uh, 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 right uh, to left uh, shot. So the child will try to decrease this right to left shot by increasing the systemic uh, circulation. So uh, the child try to squat and irrit, irrit or squatting position to do squat position to increase systemic possible resistance. To decrease the shunt from the PSD from right to left shunt. Okay, uh, uh, certain support positions and noses. Uh, so we manage to prefer the cyanotic spirit or each in, in attack of exertional dyspnea and uh, uh, severe uh, interoperability. And then we try to decrease the right, uh, right ventricular outflow obstruction. If we decrease the uh, right, flow, right uh, pulmonary uh, uh, stenosis, decrease it, then the right to left shunt will be decreased. We, in general, in general, if we had a cyanotic spell, uh, place him in lateral knee chest position. Knee chest position, and we can add a little bit of emotion. Knee chest, given knee, hold the chest, knee pad, knee chest position. At a little, at a very systemic vascular resistance. We call it left to right to left shot. Not the oxygen, not the morphine, not the beta block. In general, in general, we write for them beta block. At the benefit of beta blocker to decrease infantibular pulmonary stenosis. Early uh, infantibular pulmonary stenosis, literally, a pallid right to left shunt, a pallid manifestation of hypoxia and cyanosis and risk of metabolic acidosis. In the correction of any خلي بالك اللي هم السنة عشان حقيقة اللي سينا في كارب بزيز because they had هالبوكسي uh, عم يتابعوا بالستاتس they usually had polycythemia as a response to هالبوكسي low oxygen the protein will increase so uh, this, uh, there will be increase in RBC mass at the same time, uh, usually they had iron deficiency anemia. So risk of relative iron deficiency anemia, relative. In general, when we have iron deficiency anemia, RBC count is usually low or near normal or normal. But in cyanotic heart disease, they had polycythemia uh, as a response for hypoxia. And the polycythemia need more iron and usually they didn't have an enough iron for the uh, uh, polycythemia happens in response to happens. So they covered relative uh, iron deficiency 
because when you measure the hemoglobin is usually a uh, high hemoglobin so you say you think they are uh, really uh, polycythemic and uh, they are not in need for iron but uh, when you measure iron and pregnancy level you will face an uh, iron deficiency anemia and one of the triggering for cyanotic spill or increasing risk of uh, cyanosis and uh, hypoxia is iron deficiency anemia Iron deficiency anemia. So, in general, we will write for them beta blocker and iron after checking for presence of anemia. In general, it needs surgery according to the presentation, but in general, we will not delay surgery after the age of one to two years. A surgery should be uh, done in any event. So hold infant and you get on the chest position oxygen of the portion of his doses by carbonate uh, and basal concentrator to increase vascular resistance beta blocker and associated of any uh, comorbidity such as fever, dehydration, hypoglycemia, infection. Characteristic uh, feature of the charge of follow that the lung is oligemic oligemic the lung is clear there is no prefer there is no congestion there is no congestion first of all the lung is oligemic there is no prefer there is no congestion because the uh, pulmonary uh, optical obstruction so no more blood reach to the lung, lung. So that leads to presentation of oligemic lung. So pulmonary vascular marking are decrease. Pulmonary vascular marking are decrease. This is characteristic for uh, tough. Secondly, there will be large of our right particular. Uh, or there will be a right ventricular hypertrophy. The right ventricular hypertrophy is located at the base of the heart. So when it is elevated, it, uh, when it is uh, hypertrophic, they, he would elevate the apex uh, of the heart. So typically, uh, they show on chest X-ray boot shape, boot shape, heart. Uh, which are part secondary to our right ventricular hypertrophy and a small main pulmonary artery segment and a small main pulmonary artery segment so this is characteristic of what you expect in child with tetralogy or followed by x-ray you will see a decrease in pulmonary muscular marking and there will be a boot shape Heart secondary to right ventricular hypertrophy and uh, decrease size or small size main pulmonary artery segment. Okay, ECG right axis deviation and right ventricular hypertrophy. If it's stable, if it is stable in the noise segments. In production at the age of one to two years. If it is, uh, there will be if he had significant cyanosis or severe anomalies of pulmonary tartus, pulmonary arteries, so urgent correction maybe at early, maybe at infancy. There will be a, yeah, the child will be will have a risk of complication of cyanotic heart disease, risk of uh, due to uh, polycythemia, risk of cerebral compulsive, risk of pain abscess, risk of infective endocarditis, and risk of heart failure if he develops infective endocarditis. The heart failure in TOF is a rare, rare complication. Heart failure in TOF is rare complication, as we mentioned, because the pulmonary artery 
and usually uh, atrophy or neural or abnormal so uh, the uh, risk of heart failure is rare except when there, there is a concomitant infective endocarditis that lead to uh, damage and destruction of the valves that, that lead to that lead to the development of heart failure or when the obstruction is mild in pink type then uh, risk of can happen in pink type or mild type is can have a cardio getting with heart uh, failure or after surgery when there is a complete surgery can have a, a complication of uh, heart TGA, TGA transposition, TGA transposition of the weight act. I don't arise from right ventricle and pulmonary artery arise from left ventricle. It is mal alignment, mal alignment. It is totally disrupted circulation. It's, it is totally disrupted circulation. So it is uh, right ventricle will uh, pump uh, the deoxygenated blood to the aorta and the right ventricle will pump it to the pulmonary artery. So it is usually very severe type of anomalies. Very severe type of anomalies. Uh, okay. Uh, so the prognosis of uh, this type depends on presence of coexistent uh, defect. Defects such as VSD or PDA. If there is concomitant BSD or PDA, then the chance of survival to be better more than there is no mixing defect. No mixing defect. If there is no mixing defect, then death occurs in the first few hours of life. Profound hypoxia. This is a presentation, typical presentation of. Uh, of uh, transposition of, of right arteries, it is profound hypoxia and cyanosis in the first few hours of life, and there is no mixing lesion. Uh, so, they will occur in the first few uh, hours of life, and there will be no respiratory symptoms or only limited to tachypnea and single second heart sound, and there will be no memory. So in the first few hour of life, uh, face a child with cyanosis and, and he had no respiratory symptoms and profound hypoxia. When you see the child will have with low oxygen or unit with low oxygen, but when you give oxygen and the oxygen is elevated, that means the source of the etiology is respiratory cause. When you found a child or neonate with severe cyanosis, but when you give oxygen, cyanosis disappeared, and oxygen saturation increase, that definitely is not a cardiac cause. But when you give oxygen in high concentration, and the cyanosis does not disappear, and oxygen saturation not corrected, that means the cause of cyanosis is cardiac. Especially when there is no respiratory symptoms or related to uh, the kidney, single second heart, and no memory. Mixing defect, BSD or BDA, progress within two to three days, cyanosis, and can have congestive heart failure within two to three to four months. TGA, the shape of the heart, we call it egg shape, egg shape, it is egg shape, heart, narrow, superior, mediastine, narrow, super, superior, mediastine, egg shape goes with TGA.
management according to if we get it early you can get post gene infusion to maintain the PDA or if we cannot or it was closed so balloon at real septostone this palliative palliative okay surgery indicated in the first two weeks of life first two weeks of life so tricuspid uh, atresia tricuspid atresia tricuspid atresia so the uh, cusp valve is absent and RV is hypoplastic. If the epistine normally here downward displacement and a septal defect posteriorly into the right ventricle cavity. Okay, so epistine anomaly can be a cause for heart failure and cyanosis in the first few days of the heart failure. And cyanosis in the first cyanosis in the first few days. Okay. And the X ray X ray show large as the second arm small epical. AVSD, severe pulmonary hypertension. Push on each chest, peripheral clamp, cardiomegaly, and the AV canal defect. AV canal, 10 month age, 10 month age, necessarily someone that will do your want. And the move is ASD, ASD, epical VSD, and the issue of net video mat. Heart failure will medicine